Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting Eurocities to this event. And uh, thank you specifically to Lambert, Van Nistelrooy, this morning for his words, because you made my day, talking about a pact between <laughs> cities, a new pact between cities and the European Commission. That's exactly what we're trying to do and what we've been doing, and we hope to succeed. But we can say more about it later. So who are we? Eurocities is the network of major cities, so more than 250,000 inhabitants and the political voice of these cities in Brussels and in the EU. With over 130 members, cities, across 35 countries in Europe, we cover basically the majority of Europe's capital and second tier cities. Together we account basically for one quarter of the population of the EU. The Eurocities network is therefore not only the voice of cities in Brussels and uh, on EU policy and trying to uh, input the policy making at the EU level, but it's also the platform for cities <coughs> and their administration, their governments, uh, to meet, to exchange practices, to exchange ideas and form partnerships around so many issues that you know, uh, concern and affect a city on a daily basis. The smart cities is exactly one of them. <clears throat> Sorry. Smart cities is exactly also one of our strategic priorities in our strategic framework 2014-2020 because we know that it's a challenge that uh, cities, it's a challenge and a way of working that cities are uh, developing more and more. So our cities are key players when it comes to fighting climate change. 80% of Europe's, but these are, are all uh, data that we, you all know, but it's always good to remind it. 80% of Europe's energy is consumed in cities. 75% of the greenhouse gas emissions are generated in cities. So these are challenges. But cities are also the place where these challenges are faced and where solutions to these challenges are found and you know, met. You know, many, the, 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 the measures on retrofitting buildings, all the energy efficiency um, measures and activities are happening in cities and they are an important solution to these challenges. So for our cities, becoming smart is about improving urban life through sustainable integrated solutions as, we say, as, as we've seen. And it's also about developing good quality services for citizens and businesses. Becoming a smart city is not an end goal for urban development, but a continuous process for cities to become more resource efficient and also improving the quality of their services and the quality of life, for as I said, for the citizens and businesses. So it's not only about the cities, it's also about citizens. That's, therefore, from a city perspective, it is more Smart cities is more than just deploying the right technological solutions. It involves joining up policies and working in a cross-cutting and an integrated way across a wide range of areas. Many of our cities have implemented projects that integrate ICT, energy and mobility solutions, to address issues such as district heating and cooling, reusing waste heat. I've just been I've just coming back from Bristol where I've seen a very innovative project on a bus fueled by poo. <laughs> that was very innovative. <laughs> uh, using open data to encourage behavioral change and so on. There are myriad of examples from our cities who are pushing uh, <coughs> these you know, this, this, uh, this kind of measures, deploying integrated technologies and looking at integrated infrastructures, but who are also looking at integrated organizational approaches. And that's where also a challenge that has been mentioned by the Commission uh, is. This involves, for instance, working across uh, city departments, uh, having different people working on uh, the same issues, people who don't work together uh, often. So it is a challenge. Projects that integrate ICT, Energy and mobility are often seen as being at the core of smart cities, of course, as we said. But it's important to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all approach. That's what our cities say to us all the time. Um, different cities, therefore, have different visions for smart cities. So it's interesting to see how this concept is 
you know, uh, resonate in a different way in different places. Visions for smart cities that include other aspects, such as, such as social, cultural, educational issues. Maybe a smart city that also is the one that harnesses its human capital. Harness, harness human capital in the sense that the technology underpinning this, the smart cities is not simply about sharing data, generating information, installing sensors and technology, but it's also a question of facilitating a dialogue and a discussion above all capturing this human capital that a city has in addressing difficult <coughs> challenges like sustainability, financing, service delivery, and so on. It's a bit, uh, sometimes, a tension or an evolution, bricks in the smart city concept. That is why many of our cities are not just concentrating on energy or mobility and this uh, integrated infrastructure approach, but also looking at issues such as citizens' engagement, participatory budgeting, processes and citizen involvement in urban planning, digital skills, new business development, using open data, for instance, and urban innovation through living labs. There are plenty of examples in this respect. So what we call also smart citizens. So that's what we do. We exchange on these aspects and we have many examples and we try also to follow uh, the evolution of this concept together with the cities in a partnership through the EIP, participating in the you know, uh, high-level group and so on. So we're looking forward to continue this partnership in the most concrete <coughs> and strategic way in an overall pact, as uh, Lambert said, with the European Commission that can see cities on board on policy development from the early, earliest stage along the whole policy development cycle to the implementation. So this is what we call an urban agenda. So that's it for now, and I look forward to more exchange, sorry, <laughs> more exchange later.